No time to waste. Let's go. Oh, come on. And it froze. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Hello. Welcome to the stream. As you can see, whenever I try to rush something, it dies. Too bad I couldn't rush myself when I was being born. Um, hello! <laughs> I hope I was muted. <coughs> I wasn't. Alright, let's do... What was the thing? The star. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see what this... I barely had sleep sleep. So I might just only go for like two rounds. Do the star and do the devil for bless. You probably won't be here. But I'll do it anyways. And then I'll probably just stop because I am I'm tired. I'm a tired boy. Mages are opening the gates of the underworld in the dark corners of the Empire. Close the portals before it's too late. Ancient Magica. Relics wish only death on their owners. Oh. Perts crowns life where you can. I'm guessing I need relics to op close portals, but the relics are deadly. That's bullshit. Keep your wits about you when dealing with magic and muggies. And a lot of corruption. Alright, so we're definitely taking this one. Because manual dexterity I can get good. This can die. This one can... This... He... His extra ability in the dice thing, it can be very good. If you roll a 6 with the extra die, but you can also roll a 1. But you know, she can wreck, wreck she, the, the corruption. And we can clone cards, it's pretty fun. Mechanical of the T. We should see what this is. We should try and move on with the, uh, or you know, progress with the uh, companion quest lines. All right, health scrounging. Wow. Well, I'm just gonna scroll, and whenever it lights up, okay, that's bad one. That's bad one. That can be a good one, and we still need to know oh, what the hell is the uh, thingy. The token, and how to get it. It's a bad one. It's a good one. Ooh. Oh yeah, but the healer wants either a blessing or a money, right? Oh, we'll, we'll put it away, sure. We need two blessings for this. I, I honestly don't think I can do it on any map other than the High Priestess. They just slurp up blessings every other step of the way, you know? So we're not putting this away. Or not away, but into the deck. Obviously the I shrine. guess that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. He scared me. Gain life. Okay, so we can gain life with this. Oh, but it's not gain maximum life. Ah, alright. So we're never going to use this, honestly. Actually, no. This is only useful in the strained one. <laughs> because it can heal you back. So, yeah. Obviously, Dan is amazing. Burning building can burn. No. This for food, obviously, is amazing. I just realized I have 15 slots, so this is going to be a big one. Holy crap. So, I'm gonna go through the thing. I'm gonna take that because it's easy. This guy wants f money for stuff, so I don't think I want that. I'm gonna go through the good stuff. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm like going to put in the food gains as well. Because if it's a long one, you could put her in. Could be good. Definitely. 
This is too small of a blessing that she gives. She kind of got old, you know. Could gain food with this. Gain equipment. This can be very good if you get lucky with some of the gambits and get good with the others. You know. And I guess you can put in the ambush for food. Or just unimpressed farmer for fame. Well, if you fight a lot of corrupted, we might get a lot of fame, so this might be worth it. Alright, so corrupted. Alright. Anything that's corrupted. I have 15 slots. That's unknown, so why not? We could sell this for good money if we can get it somewhere. This because it's platinum. Although... Well, I'll check what other platinum I have. Oh, that's the mage killer. I should take that too. That's new, so take it. There's a golden shield we could sell. If we get it for free, but... Extra life, food. That's probably... Money? Gives money? What is this thing? Lightning! Damage to corrupted in an area. And only corrupted killed explode, causing a short stun. It's just so garbage. You can use it three times and it's gone. Destroy the armor of 15 armored corrupted to unlock the shard. Oh my god. It has a shard on it. Oh, this one has a shard too. Defeat skeletons with this item. Okay. It's actually easier if we just do the skeleton one where... Oh, the skeleton one is the lovers though. The potato dude. Ah, oh, god damn it. Although the potato one gives us bombs because it's the bomb tutorial. The relic tutorial or artifact. Oh yeah, I'm not going to use that outside of that quest. Oh, I could see what this does. It has three uses. Wow, it's garbage already. Could see what this does. I don't even have any armor on. Okay, that's kind of bad. This gives extra life with a one-handed weapon. things you know what we'll make do all right we'll make do and only three supplies oh that's hilarious well, that's a shadow oh we have the tactician's buckler Watch for the empire enemies we post 40 shadows when the hell am I going to fight a lot of shadows? So far I've only seen one. I guess I can farm that. The Lost Boy. I think the Lost Boy has the shadow encounter. Because the fiend in need, if you choose to kill it, it just dies. So, you know. I'm gonna take the shield, see what it does. We're probably going to restart it, this one pretty quickly. Let's go! There is much that people meddle with that they Barely put in new cards. Oh, a lot of mage killing, so... If I get that mage killing, uh... Whatever, blade, dual building thingy... That could be good. You understand the game. <sighs> you have let it shape you. You may have the skills we need to face him, or you may die. The Gathering. The village of Forst... Forstor... Forst... Forstford... Hmm. Gathers in the town hall to discuss the mage resurgence. While an elderly farmer stood upon the stage, he saw it clear as day in my one good eye, an almighty swirling spiral, black and sparking, come to take my corn. It's a cornado. 
and our lives! Comes a hysterical shout from the back of the room. It's probably me, just sitting there, just shouting bullshit. Oh, four portals, so we have to <laughs> shut the gates of oblivion or something. Close, shut the gates up of, of oblivion. <sighs> the cactus descends into pandemonium. Caucus. Caucus? Coconut. Cocus. Begin your journey. What the hell is the mayor doing here? The mayor tries to calm the assembly, but has little duck. A sobbing woman throws a chair at the window in frenzied terror. Why? <laughs> She's mad. What is this portal thing? You could be lying unintentionally, the mayor sighs. Old friend is very, very blind. And the, and the woman throws another chair at another window. Oh my god, the more I stay here, the more windows are going to get crashed. They all know mages are around, despite the Empire telling us they are merely tears. However, I heard they are getting more dangerous, a sign of the times. Probably getting desperate. Trying to defend themselves, maybe? The mayor tries to call maybe another window, another chair, with another woman. A sobbing woman breaking windows in a chair. The mayor stops you before you go, shaking of a screaming farmer. <laughs> The Empire is off in the north somewhere. There's nobody to help us. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'd fall asleep. I beg you. Comb the area for anything suspicious. If you do, I'll reward you. With my hand in marriage. Oh, Jesus. Mayor's blessing. Sweep the area. Receive them food when you reveal all encounters on the table. A number of... Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm guessing this is like... This mission's specific blessing. I don't think this can be acquired elsewhere. But this is pretty okay. Especially on smaller maps, you know. So, nine tiles. Ah. Basically gives us back our food. That's pretty good. You're unsure to where to start, but you know you must close these portals somehow. We're going to Kowatch first. Yay! Each tool represents part of the power that Ooh. I once held. Oh yeah, the Tactician's Buckler. What does it do? Tactician's Buckler. Buckler and Shield Effect. So it does the same thing as the Buckler, but it gives seven more defense. Yeah. It becomes a pretty fucking OP... Uh, Chair, no <laughs> shield. Uh, OP chair. Uh, thus, we put on the neglected sword because I want to use the thing. Defense. On a lonely imperial road, there lies a dilapidated tavern known as the Dilapidated Tavern. Inside, you spy a group of dilapidated mages huddling together in a dilapidated corner of the Dilapidated Tavern. I like that word. They are grazing. Rapturing at a dull copper dilapidated goblet in the center of the... Alright, they stop. Table. Shake, <laughs> shake one of them. Take the goblet away. Oh, gee. So they're like... Staring at the goblet. In a decaying in, in, it's a red card for this mission where I need to close portals. The port, the go goblet might be the focus objective. They uh, focus on, or not objective, object. They focus on to open a portal. I'm taking the goblet away. Fuck them. Goblet is surprisingly heavy and takes some effort to lift off the table. Merely holding it sends a strange chill up your spine. You try to drop the artifact, but something compels you to keep it. Oh, it's one of the cursed relics that's going to start killing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cursed. A new wielder of this item will gain a corsé. Bound. Ay, ay, ay. Goblet's curse. Wait, I remember this art. Consume two food instead of one vital. Oh, no. Pocket the goblet, the mages suddenly stand and turn toward you. 
As one, they open their mouth to scream, an unholy sound that rattles the moldy rafters. I might just restart immediately and not take the goblins. <laughs> the pitch increases unrelentingly and you cover your ears in desperation. The sound rings in your s on in your skull, in your chest. Your knee knees buckle and you collapse blindly to the dilapidated ground. I am not dumb. <laughs> you wish desperately for the screaming to stop. Oh, my bonus five is gone. I don't think the Back screaming the is going to stop. I hope you have learned to Ooh. be their master. I, uh, all right. <laughs> Yay! Look at that. Absolute garbage. Oh, I keep losing life, but it keeps going down. Oh, that is that is trash. This becomes a five or a six. That's five more. I need this to be a five. I don't want to read all this because it's gonna become smaller. Five, six, a hey, Oh no, I needed it to be a six. Well done. <laughs> you continue to impress. Oh yeah, because it was a one, not, not a zero. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Because, you know, that skull really looks like a zero, not a one, but, you know, whatever, dude. Could have been like a bone or something. It's fine. As quickly as it began, the screaming stops. When your eyes readjust to the gloom of the terror, you find only piles of ash where the mages had been. So they unleashed their ultimate attack. And it kind of gave me cancer or something. Alright. The look around, but the building is abandoned. Was it always empty? Yes. Yes, young Padawan. Ah. Hey, bless. Now you're drunk. Give a normal toast? I'm not giving you anything. You're drunk. Shame on you. Shopkeeper nods as you enter. Leave. <laughs> I don't really have money. Oh, great. A lot of shopkeepers. Here's I'm a token for you, you if you can earn it. All right, so these two are not explored yet, so let's go to the protection. Let's go about the protection from the P.O.P. Pop. You drink to me, may I get what I want, but not what I deserve. Oh, come on, I deserve love. I'm not going to get love? What if I deserve the same thing I want? A bullet to the back of my head. All right, let's do this. The boy looks around to make sure nobody is watching too closely, then discreetly takes a small vial of colorless liquid from his pocket. This tonic was brewed from the fruit of a rare plant that only grows high on the northern hills. It will boost your strength, give you the edge. You need to survive the poison. I like you, stranger. I'm a fair judge of character, and you seem like a good sort for you. This is only five gold. Lose five gold to gain ten max life. Wait, it tells me what I get, but I didn't explore this before. I haven't. Oh, well, I mean, five gold for getting back the life I lost? Hell yeah. And over the gold and drink the mixture. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Sudden scream as you're reaching for your weapon and sends the crowds into panic. Ay ay ay. What if Pinocchio said my nose will grow now? Well, then his penis would grow. He would get wood. A band of armed warriors advances on a silver haired woman, weighed down with an impressive array of weapons. One of the men points menacingly at the woman, declaring, You send my brother Medai back to Break Knuckle Prison, Bounty Hunter. Yes, the woman states matter-of-factly, I did, as he should learn to accept rejection. Nobody crosses my family! The warriors rush forward to attack, fight to defend the woman, join the man attacking the one, stay back and observe. So it's basically the same thing, so we fight to defend her because she's the uh, DLC companion that we cannot get. Nose. Yes, penis. Penis. All the penises floating around you in the world. 
ejaculating semen. Think about it. How many people are cooming in your vicinity right now? Cooming. <laughs> I changed, I never changed. Oh, I got to keep my other companion as well during the fight. Oh, nice. I remember this being very uh, high stress because I did this during the uh, strained quest where I had no HP <laughs> and it could have killed me, but now I'm like 105 and come on. Easy. I didn't change, I just have enough of your bullshit. Of your drunken bullshit. Tactician's buckler, made of light elven wood. Oh, throw it away. The shield may save you the precious seconds between life and death. Sure, I'll sell it. Didn't Nothing know it was like garbage elven. <laughs> Lol. Kill steel. Like they didn't talk about this shit. Yeah, that was like what three years ago. I mean, hey. As we get older and realize that shit does not matter. You know. To a head woman puts her guns away, saying, I didn't ask for your intervention. Fuck you. Check the fallen for anything useful. Hey, it is said, oh, these blades corruption. were wrenched from the hands of a god, and ever after wielded by mortal hands. Nonsense, of course. Of course. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what we needed. We are desperately needed that. Too late to be of use, let more than survey the carnage. Scott of soldiers appears, oh yeah. Harrison Captain rides up and addresses the woman curtly. Katora, causing trouble again. It's by doing your job that I make enemies like this. Katura responds sharply. What kind of name is Katura? Ace Katura. <laughs> Animal detective. Captain bristles at, his, at this remark, but keeps his voice under control as he retorts. A more important work to do than chasing street thugs and petty criminals. Yeah, that's what they all say. How goes the search for the Prince of Poison? Tura asks. I hear another twelve died at the smelter yesterday. In a freak smelter accident. Captain's face fills his anger, but Katura... Katura... Ah, simply turns and walks away, adding... I have work to do. You know where to find me. Oh wow. What a sass. Garrison Captain screams orders for everyone to disperse, then rides off down the street. Soldiers run to keep up with him, and you slip away before more trouble starts. Leave the troubled town of Iron Peak. Damn it! Well, I got a bunch of food and got my life back. My life! Hey, more food, let's go. Turned into a four from a four before. It's kind of weird that so far only one mission had skeletons as the main thing. Dude, what? I was clicking the proper thing. What? Nonsense. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. He got brutalized. Rusty sword. It's absolute trash. 
but I want to keep the shield on. Because if things are going to decrease my life, I want to keep as much in combat as possible. Hey Easy. Five more steps. Yeah. Band of thugs. Makeshift tent in the forest. From the tank. Oh, this. This is basically the chocolate guards, right? Snap. Yeah, it's the chocolate guards guard. Yeah, it's it's fine. A bunch of orcs come out. Few unsavory looking people exit the tent in a menacing fashion along with a bevy of skeletons. Oh, I was just talking about skeletons. Oh my god, eight skulls and five greed. What are you doing snooping around here? You're trying to kill our skeleton friends here? They were doing necrophiliac orgy in the tent. What if my sister heard what I'm talking about? I don't give a fuck about that. Another thief brandishes their weapon frantically. No, leave him alone. Just because they're skeletons don't mean they did nothing wrong. If they did nothing wrong, they did everything wrong. What? <laughs> they didn't do... What? Oh, whatever. Well, now I get to fight the skeletons I wanted. Oh my god. Clusterfuck! Need some for me! Skeleton warriors! Right. It's basically just mash. By the way, Blast, I'm going to do the Devil mission, if you stick around for longer, because this is the stars. STARS! Mage pokes her head out of the tent and notices the dead bodies. Alright, we don't have time for this. Yeah, so it's basically the same thing, but you know, what comes out depends on what you You have get. proven yourself worthy. Man, the goddamn neglected sword deals more damage, although this is a lot faster, but I would lose my shield. This is good against corrupted, but I haven't seen them yet. Okay, the damage area the last six seconds when activated. The area causes damage to corrupted only. So that's garbage. I'm not putting it on. But if you go against corrupted, I might as well do it. We'll see how he looks. Will we see how he looks? What, the devil or this guy? I don't know. Don't follow us, the mage waves her arm and then disappears. Right. Oh, I should camp, actually. Take your predictions and do with them what you will. Alright, let's see what we get. We get a health potion right off the bat. I kind of unnecessary because I can just step once and gain the health. Then we gain 20 gold, then we lose 10 food, oh that's not good. Then we get hurt, gain more gold, so that's 35 gold. That's 15 gold. One equipment on three, and one might be a platinum. And then we get injured. Yeah. Ain't happening, bruh. I don't want to lose the 10 food, that was the only thing. Oh wow. Unique. Settled by one of the great cliffs of for for Frostford. I'm just gonna call it Frostford because forced ford sounds wrong. Like someone typoed it. Make a camp. Ariadne roasts some chestnuts on the fire. Been a while on the road. I think after this adventure I'll head back home for a while. No you won't. The devil. 
I don't know. Seen this card guy in my stream enough times, it makes you puke. So that was like, what, three years ago? <laughs> I streamed the first game. We've come full circle. Next game I'm gonna stream is going to be Thea 2. That's another one I streamed like three years ago. <laughs> or four? What year is this? Doesn't matter. After the circle is complete, I can I can retire to a grave. Uh, we can see what trading is because now we have some money. Astronaut purification. Against corrupted defend causes 30% of your weapon damage to attackers. That's kind of shit. And it's a heavy shield. It reduces our movement. Gives big defense though, but it's. It's kind of meh. How much is it? Not even. Not even cheap. I don't know, dude. Maybe the alcohol is making you puke. Oh, that's garbage. Look at that. They intentionally made food expensive. Peddler traveling home from Frostfall. Damn, son, break a camp. Hey, Thomas! Yes, we go. Listen, listen, listen. Ask. Da 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 da. Demand. Ba 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 ba. Used to fight. De 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 do. Game. Game! What game? Thea! Thea! Thea. <laughs> D H E A. Challenge everything. Goddamn EA. What a garbage company. Let's play a dice game. Like, we're gonna play all the games, so. Easy win. Alright. Manual dexterity game. The pendulum is ever changing, and wow, the it's so easy. You just have to wait for the too. return. I never wait for the return. That's why I screwed up most of the time. You play game well. Oh, I have to do better in the future. Don't hurt yourself, Ogreman. Oh, I get this. Wow, that's thirty-three monies right there saved. Play the card game too. It's fine. We don't want to get rid of her. So, this doesn't really matter. Especially since I saw where it went. <laughs> Thea. Yes, the, the first one. Not Faja. What the hell is Faja? Faja. Soldier. <laughs> Such specific taste for boring games that nobody watches. It's incredible at this point. Wow, thanks. How about you leave? <laughs> Perhaps I've grown lax. Ooh, he, he needs to poop. I'm sitting in the forest by myself for too long. I was grumbles. Here, do any of these interest you? Oh yeah, I want the dice game, or the thingy game as well. Oh yes. We can see what this does. Unkillable. Oh, create an aura that prevents you from being killed when activated. Lasts for 10 seconds, so I can still lose HP, but I cannot be dealt a killing blow. Yeah, that's kind of bull. It recharges after combat. I can use it three times, but it has 30 seconds cooldown. Not, not a lot of battles or combat encounters uh, last for longer than 30 seconds. Definitely not more than a minute. Because, you know, when there are the time down thingies, the timed ones, you, know, you can see that it lasts for a minute, especially the survival against the Black Knight and stuff. I don't know if I want that. But this one wants me to destroy the armor of Armored Corrupted. 15 of them. Who done 15 seconds? Three uses. This is such a garbage thing. But we are going to take it. For free, thank you, Ogre Man. Do I have it equipped? No. Oh, it's it's here. I'm so used to not having anything here, <laughs> I, I don't even look at that. <laughs> On rings. 
And a better sword, maybe. It's pretty cool. I have items to throw at the plant if I see it. You can't handle the truth. What truth? That you're an alcoholic and I am boring? Come on. Truth is all I handle these days. It's good money. What was the ogre? More like... Wow! I don't know who this Christoph is. My name doesn't have two F's in it. But I have several L's. <laughs> Chalice has Even... ruled for 100 years. And in that time, the Empire has become more brutal by the moment. Isn't that my name? Nope. <laughs> you fool! An ominous red glow emanates from the from a cave across the great Frostford Lake. Investigate it. Go in it and kill everything, stepping lightly. You peer into the cave and, just as old Frank had described, a great portal turns black as night. Th showering me with apples and red lightning. Corrupted creatures crawl from the portal. Yay. Hopefully they are armored. Because I only want to use the bomb against the armored ones. Throw the goblet into the portal. Go to the next level. Oh, so I do need the artifact every time. Throw it. Portal churns with greater vigor until it explodes, releasing its energy. Yay. Or your, or your life, you believe that? I mean, it's a similar name, but it's not that. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, that looks like some kind of Avenger shield. <laughs> it's so shiny and red and silver. <laughs> Bastion of Purification, Nial was a wildly inventive craftsman, and also quite, quite mad. Wow, I probably would have liked Nial. Nial! He told me ten years ago this is my name. I said similar. You almost got it. Okay, none of these guys are armored, so I don't even care about throwing my bomb. Time. I gotta roll past these. Oh no, she killed it. Okay. Oh, it's the other companion that stuns them. Of course. She just outright murders. Okay, I was in the middle of my animation there. Piece of garbage. You will no pain. Because that guy is going to be the last one to kill. No, don't kill him. Kill him. Pain. So ten years ago, where was I? Probably in prison. It's a big age. It's the new age. <laughs> Alright, anything new in the can? Oh, Wanderer's Bounty. Let's see what it does. It's a buckler with one defense. Doesn't have a token, so it will never get upgrades. Add gold. Gold is added to a random encounter at the start of each new map. This is garbage. Alright. Well, now we know never to put it in our deck. Because it's absolute trash. Right, break this camp. Don't have the curse now, so that's good. Oh wait, with I still have the curse. What consequence? Can you hold the dagger without being carved? So throwing away the goblet didn't remove the uh, the curse, but I still have the mayor's blessing, so that's pretty okay, I guess. Rotting cave. Here we go. Second artifact. I don't know what you wrote there. But that's not the proper word, is it? Investigating a curious radiance leads you to a cavern strewn with candles. 
The stalactites look like monstrous teeth in the flickering light. Break them off. Be an asshole. In the depths of the cave you find a young woman bound with ropes. Major raises a dagger menacingly over her heart. Cry out in protest, your voice echoing through the chamber. Why? I guess I want to stab her. Sure. Halal. 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 So, with fish. What kind of fish? <clears throat> I like tuna. And mackerels. And sardines. And heck. And the one that I keep forgetting the name of. But yeah. The mage looks up without a hint of surprise on his face. Ah, the hero has come. What will she do? It requires sacrifice either way. Stab me in the heart. I love it. I don't have a heart. <clears throat> With the dagger poised above the maiden's heart, your hands are tied. Well, I guess she dies. My hands are tied. What do you sacrifice to the gods? Why do I know what I get? Did the game bug out on me? I should not know these. This is the first time I'm doing this. Oh, I blame Epic. The mage licks his lips in an anticipation. My blood. Three life pain cards. Ooh. My gold. Or my glory. So, somewhere there's still the farmer guy who can give us a lot of food if we have enough uh, fame. We're losing our gold. Age instructs you to throw your gold into deep cleft in the earth. Oh no! What am I going to do? Ha! Yay. Mage hums in exil exil exultations to the god. Satisfied, he unbinds the woman and offers you the dagger. It'll disrupt the portal if such thing interests you. Wow, what a coincidence. He says before blinking away. <laughs> So again, we are not actually fighting the mages. The dagger. Ah! Throw a life pain card before every encounter. Wow. Oh, that is bad. Although we can heal. Oh, I didn't read that. Oops. Maiden bows gratefully. Leave. Ask her about the closing portal. Ask her about the dagger. What about the portal? The magical doorways have been opening everywhere since the last solstice. Maiden squishes her skirts like a little girl and giggles. I think the dagger will close it. It's powerful and dangerous. Cause she's she's mad. She's like crazy. It's cursed, you know. The maiden's brown eyes are unsettlingly dark in the dim cave, but it's beautiful and rare. I should have let her die. Maiden bows gratefully. Okay. Crazy. Crazy broad. Hey. I don't even know what the other option gives. <laughs> I don't even know what the other option is. I don't even read it. Because this one is the obvious one. You just survive for a minute or something. I mean, just don't get hit, lol. Easy. So I have a rusty dagger. I don't think I can defeat this guy in one minute. Actually, the first thing is actually pretty strong. Ay ay ay! The camera angle is real bad here. So he can do bullshit moves as well. Just like just like my character. Just kinda lunge from a standstill. Well, I should have attacked from the beginning. No, come on! I took those hits because I thought I could power through them, but I guess this is going to be a restart.
That's fine. I survived, so I still gain. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. That's okay, bruh. Oh, there is this thing. So it has three uses. Okay. Death is touch. Inflict 200 damage to a living enemy when activated. Under are immune. Ignores armor. To a living enemy, but do I choose who that enemy is? Or is it random? Brimstone Bane. Deal only 25% damage to brimstone enemies. What are brimstone enemies? Are those like the demons from the first game? Or are those like the brimstone card specific enemies no matter what they are? Oh, like the Black Knight. The Black Knight is a brimstone enemy. Wow. But wait, does this deal 125%? So an extra what? 50? Or, or do I just generally get the bonus damage? It's kind of bad. There's the broad shield. It's a heavy shield. Defend 30 attacks. That's it. It's just a big meaty shield. Interesting. I'll take it because I can just farm the token. Farm the token. Yeah. Healer! Let's go about the curse removal. Two more fame, but I can't come back here, so let's go random curse. Alright, that's good. Don't know what. Oh, I can't use the sword now, that's fine. You know, the, the bark combusts in a blaze of green and blue flame, the one smiles, a sweetly scented smoke wafts from the bowl. Oh, buy information. Buy healing. Buy food. Oh, I don't have any money, of course. Yeah. Well, oh, goodbye. Thanks for the curse removal. Wait, why do I only heal five now? That's not part of the curse. Drain, draw a life pain card. Sell some shields. Okay, something is being bullshit here. Nothing said that I would gain 50% less healing. From food. Wow, that's that's garbage. Don't need that. I can throw away the tactician's buckler to the to the plant. I can sell this. Hopefully I run into the plant at some point. What do you have? Harvest Blade, nice. Reaping Strike. Wait, but I'm not boring? No, oh, Jesus, you just don't know what you're talking about again. Perform a powerful strike that causes 300% damage when activated. Gain plus one food if the target is defeated. So it's cannibalism, the, the weapon. Excludes undead and corrupted because you can't eat bone marrow, apparently. After combat, receive plus one food if you complete uh, complete three finishers. Excludes corrupted, but not undead. And it's heavy. This is a weird weapon. I don't know if it's worth it. I need eight hits to perform a powerful strike. That gives me one foot. I guess, I mean, yeah. If I use it properly against weak enemies like uh, the Empire people, like musketeers could just become food. But it's a two-hander, so I don't want it. Welcome back to the game of life and death. 
Hello, welcome back. It's the stream. Am I recording this to YouTube? I'm recording this to your neighborhood. Your neighborhood is going to see this on their TV. Everybody will see this on their TV. If I'm boring, then why are you here? Because you're drunk. Probably. Ah! There is a oh, reason there's the, the Empire has outlawed mages and their work. Magic can undo everything they have done. Oh, more band of thugs. Yippee ki yay. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Oops. A northern shaman emerges from the tent, hence stained red with dried blood. That's it? Oh, menacing group of ra hardened raiders who follow. Oh, oh, Tyrant of Frost. Great. Wow, all the four together special card. I know I did that before. That's like the first thing I did. I googled it. Because there were rumors and apparently it does work, so I, I got that card. It's it's one of the helmets. But I don't I didn't equip any helmets on this one, so you know. Rip! Tyrants are regenerative ice boys. I don't really care. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Attack the wrong character, bruh! Fix his ass. Murder! down and he waved goodbye <laughs> he was like yeah I'm done failure power is ultimately the measure of any empire this is oh, a reveals the encounters oh wow okay. okay we need to go there and we need to go here as well Empire Inquisitors I don't know what that is and mechanical oddity is the thing because so I want all of these, but all of them are going to hurt me. Going to hurt me. I have to camp. I have to sell this this harvest thingy. My cat's dying outside. Hold on.
man. That was a great hunt! What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I bought some food. They have begun an inquisition, yet it is too late now. Oh, but I lost like 10 fame for the healer. So the, I don't know how much fame I need for the uh, peasant man. You cross path with a party of Empire soldiers. The commander stops to interrogate you. You there! What do you know about these portals? All I know is that I'm closing them. What? Of course you don't. You clearly are peasantry. Let's travel to your artifact. What are you doing with something so dangerous? Forfeit that immediately. No. <laughs> Time to kill these idiots. Oh, the Empire. It would be nice to just eradicate them completely. Oh yeah, I just need to block 30 times, so let's kill the musketeers and then the rest I'm just going to keep blocking. My companion will kill them in time, but you know. Oh, this one looks decent. Broad shield, gnarled and robust. But it be but, but put, it, put it between you and the thing that wants to hurt you and it will keep you safe. My cat's about to violate his uh, toilet. Is getting ready to just jump in and poop everywhere. Oh, there he goes. He's taking a dive. I'm going to commentate his adventure of pooping. Now uh, he's digging a little hole so he can poop into it. He's in position. And then he pushes. And he pushes. And he poops! He pooping! Oh, I can reflect with this. Oh. Alright. Mmm, have some chocolate. Okay, that came through to the other.
Those artifacts look ugly. Maybe they only glow when they are charged, but who knows? All the herald bounds from a bush and runs, terrified of into the distance. Empire will learn what transpired here. More Empire monsters to attack. Okay. Wait, the night. Oh, night of steel. Uh, st wait. K of steel night. Steel of night. Night of steel. Uh, but that's the black knight. That's racist, dude. Oh, look. Dark thirst. Defeat 50 corrupted enemies with this weapon. Okay, so if you're going against corrupted, I'm just gonna put this on. But not for now. Oh look, we just heal off. Good. So let's go there last. Because I might get fame here. All I right, do not see. tarry with these sorts of devices. They are a sign the world has lost its way. Science! Mechanical oddity. Ariane leads you through the streets of the city to a dilapidated house. Oh no, the word returns. Dilapidated, sorry. I keep saying dilapidated. Hated, which is not what it is. Tucked into a darkened alleyway. This is where we'll find the dilapidated first thing we'll need to fix Anders' dilapidated forge. A mechanical oddity. Oh, oh Jesus. I almost yanked off my phone off the table. Yanked my phone off the table, Jesus. Word order. Oh. Clumsy. The inside of the house is distinctly tidier, and you are surprised by the presence of a small general store within. A young woman mines the counter. That's Mary and the mage. Oh, well, this is a perfect mission for mages. <laughs> Ariane whispers loud loudly. How do you whisper loudly? Alright. Ariane hears, of course. Can I help you? And could you please refrain from calling me a mage out loud? Ugh. No. Do you know anything about the portals? Don't worry, Marianne. Are you the booms? On the old titties shop shopping here. We're here for that. Points at the lie. I hope I have enough money. Large copper bauble studded with silver knobs resting upon the counter. This is a genuine article of the bygone Dustman. Hey, Dustman! Brand friendly. It's priceless. I can't part with it. The mage hugs it to herself. Aww. Persuade her. Kill her. Ask Ariane what to do. Ask Miriam why she isn't, hi isn't hiding. Why are you hiding? The Empire doesn't bother us out here. She might be black. The Empire don't bother us out here in the slums. <laughs> they have a few magical potions that the people appreciate so they don't really care that I'm a mage. For now. Run out of po potions, or they put up a bounty and you're dead. I've lived in a city since I was a child. It's my home. Maybe in the mage frowns, I deserve to live here as much as anyone else. Genuine article. What to do, Ariane? Such a small thing. Ariane guffaws. It'd be e <laughs> it would be as easy as squishing a gnat. So she's like, let's kill her. I can still hear you, Marian sighs from behind the counter. I like your style, I need to draw hammer looking over this display case. Oops, maybe we should take it up it's outside. The other customers perusing the store step in. What are you doing? Leave poor Marion alone, you brutes. It's okay. It's okay, we're the police. Magic police. We are source hunters. Oh shit. We are not source hunters, no! Toothless garbage gentleman shakes his fist at you. Leave this neighborhood in peace. What did we ever do to you? Dude, just kill everybody. Come on. Oh, come on. Whatever. Ah, oh, great. I'm not using her card. Oops. He slaps the mage hard across the face with her sizable hand. Sending her sprawling onto the ground. Okay, so Arigny just does it anyways. Oh. It didn't work. That's okay. 
Alright, rolling. Don't fail me now. Healing powers. Go. Easy. I like this card. Very good card. Nice, we get 30. Awesome. Do we have enough fame for food? Approach the farmer. 30 fame. Small potato after all. It's a small potato after all. This is not fame. Wow. 30 fame. Okay, so I wouldn't have had enough even with the 22. Sucks. And we're gonna lose another. Okay, so we don't lose. Uh, we don't trigger the curse for the second time. That's good. I expected that, but all right, good, good. good. Seal the portal. You throw the dagger in. Portal's relentless release of corrupted ceases as you throw in the dagger. Hold on, dark thirst needs to be fifty corrupted enemies. Yeah. And then it becomes even darker thirst. Put this on. And this, because we have a terror of the blight, or blight T of blight error. It's feeble. They're all feeble. Alright. I need an armor piece or something. Portal collapses and disappears into the ether, relinquishing its power. Great. I just need to bash people. And I need to not forget to use my artifact. Actually, what's the... Uh, I think I can use this during loading. What is the artifact? Q. Q, Q, Q. Q, Q. Q, 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 Q. I'm gonna have to use that. Q. Mm. It started shaking while it was falling. Dark thirst, bound with a great longing for the taste of corruption and blight. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Alright, dudes. You there. Uh. Uh. Wait, that didn't break its armor, though. Oh, that... okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I baited him away. Because I need to break that. She was breaking armor left and right. Alright, so I got two armor breaks with the... Uh, the vial, and I basically used it up completely, so it's gone. Artifact gone. Yay. Yeah, zero. But I got- oh, I got three. Destroy the armor of 15 armored corrupted, but I only destroyed two. So maybe this just means throw it at 15 armored corrupted to destroy some of their armor, so weaken their armor maybe? Because the others were not armored, so I don't, I don't know, but I'm glad that it's 3 out of 15 instead of 2, because it's one less needed. But it's gone, so yeah. RIP. And also we got 3 corrupted. Oh wow. So only the 3 I f killed with finishers. Wait, do I need to kill them with finishers? Oh. No, I just need to... So all the others just died to Ariadne or maybe the vial itself. That sucks. Oh well. What's new in the camp? Oh, Felvin's favor. This would be good. How much? 42. Four square, 
and solidly arranged. Oh, a necromancer! Boneyard. As night falls, you hear the sound of digging coming from the cemetery. You spy a coven of mages with shovels. Steadfast, they dig until they hear a metallic clanking sound. They unearth a small disc. In the moonlight, you can almost distinguish a pattern on its surface. Crouch behind the gnarled oak to, and wait to see what happens next. Oh, great. But I suddenly sneeze, and then everybody hears me. Fifteen! How the hell? Oh, well, that's not gonna happen with a one. Ogre trudges over the hill, dragging his club. He greets the mages with the murderous grin. They appear to be conducting some sort of trade. Oh, so I screwed up the roll so it adds an ogre. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I'm gonna have to focus down the necromancer, though. Consider your options. Try to sneak up on them. That might... ...kick me in the ass, but, you know. I could continue to watch. Maybe they... Maybe the ogre leaves. Right behind the gnarled oak. Oh my god, it's going to add something else. Okay, I restart this. I'm gonna restart this. <laughs> this is humiliating. Great, good, thank you. What else comes? Another group of mages join the graveyard crew. Alright, fucking kill him. Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. There's an input lag. What the hell is happening there? I don't like that. Your world suddenly turns upside down and ogre has lifted you up in the air by the ankle. Wait, it's this ogre or another one? Is there going to be a second one? This is going to be a cluster F. It gives you a gentle shake and something falls from your person onto the ground. I hope I can take that back. So what falls? I hope it's not my shield. I hope it's I hope it's the bloodletting wild. Oh, they're going to be spearmen or the yeah. Oh no, they have mixed weapons. Okay. No, I can actually see what they do. Can return. Not won't actually do it. Heal self. Reduce physical damage while armored. Oh yeah, the bone armor and I can see. Oh no, I have to kill the mage first because these are annoying. Oh god. Oh god, oh man. Ogre drops you absent mindedly to investigate. What's here? Some devilish thing to kill and maim and go? Links the equipment into the distance. Oh come on. Your artifact is empty now, and ha! Be of it was the artifact. Here. Nice. That was empty, anyway. So that thing did its job, and it became obs obsolete. So I could have sold it though, or thrown it at the plant. Yeah, I have to kill the mage. Relic thief mage. This mage went to external lanes to gather these relics. Mages shoot projector. Oh, so this one has the relic. Give me the relic! Oh, oh. What the hell? That skeleton has a bomb! I don't know what this thing is doing. Oh my god, it, 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 it bombed me. What the fuck was that? Wrong character. Immunity, but it's poisonous. What the fuck is happening? Oh, there's an old. Of course. There's a macro. things. Oh, 
Oh, the poison guy came back. Thankfully, we got the shrine before coming here. Yeah. Yeah. Battle resolve, you turn your attention to the half buried metal disc. You fall to your hands and knees and begin to dig. Pentacle. Pentacle's curse, doomed. Draw a curse card before every encounter. What? Now you that is the curse the card I was waiting for. Clearly you Something extremely case. bad. So we're going to see all the curses before we die, and then we die. <laughs> also, I have to fight all these things now. How do I still have the artifact on my belt, though? Like, am I not done with that? or something. Gold. A stand with a rusty sword. Man, the rusty sword is real bad. After much searching, you recover the equipment that the ogre had took from. Oh, great! So I can just. Oh, that's why it was on my person in the fight because I I took it back. All right. Okay, so when I do this again at the next <laughs> next stream, I will not search. Unless I lose something bad, and I will not hide and see. I'll just sneak up immediately. God damn, we are going to die. Might as well just whatever. What's what flavor of curse do we get? All enemies move 15% faster until they are hit. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, this guy. Throw a piece of equipment at it. Thank you, plant. Much appreciated. 
One random enemy in every combat inflicts double damage. That needs to die first. Another empire... Oh. And they don't do anything, so that's good. Cool. Affliction. Lose one blessing after every combat in which you use the weapon ability or artifact. My food blessing. Wait, weapon ability. Well, I don't really need to use my rusty sword's weapon ability, so, you know. Again. Leave me alone. Root Determination. One enemy has 100% additional life. Hey, make a donation. Fleeting Fame. Game plus 20 fame. Lose one fame after every encounter until this bonus is zero. Ooh. Two life for every gold king card. Well, now let's hope we gain some gold. I need to camp though. That's a gold gain, no? <laughs> so, yeah, the same helmet. And it didn't refresh yet. Practice. Hits required to charge a weapon ability increased by 3. That's okay because I'm not really allowed to use it. So if I kill the Corrupted for these guys, I'll get money and that will give us healing. And if I choose to not kill them, I have to fight these. But I get food. I think I'm gonna go with the life game. That means we're putting on... Dark Thirst. I have never seen that and I am afraid. Great. I was hoping to have more than just one guy and a spire. Because, you know, I was hoping for a horde so my hammer could farm, but apparently I'm out of luck. This gives me a juggernaut, whatever that is big guy. Or maybe I've seen it before. I, mean, I don't remember. We'll see. We'll see. Might have been the boss at the... Uh... Oh yeah, it was the boss of the... Uh... Great, great, <laughs> great camera angle. Of the... Uh... Raccoon City quest. Yeah. Corruption layered on top of corruption, a nightmare made of sickness and disease. Use Bash to break the terror's armor and defeat them with a finisher before it regenerates. Great. So. Help me! Oh, he does it again. Oh my god, the game just. The game just bricked itself. Holy crap, that was nice, and I couldn't dodge because of it. That's it. That's the enemy. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I can't damage it. Fuck. have to wait for him to do his thing. This, this enemy is extremely That's it. Oh, I used it. I, now I lose a... I lose a blessing. I misclicked. I pressed C because it was glowing on the screen. I got jabated by the game. <laughs> now it's gonna take a blessing. Which one do you want to lose? This one, obviously. The one I just wanted... Like... Uh...
but will it be yours? Who can say? Wait, I can't use it? Oh, I can. Okay. Game of card. Yeah, the real gambit. Yeah, the token. Uh, I mean, I wanted to defense, if anything, uh, uh, more than anything. God damn it. I misclicked. Because it was like glowing on screen, and at first I didn't press because I knew I shouldn't, but at the very end my mind was elsewhere because I was like, ah, this enemy is so pathetic, and I just pressed C. It's like, ah, man. Lonely Sorrow. My companion is disabled. Yeah, we know this one is not bad. Helpful priest. Give the priest half of your food. It's okay. Second wind! In combat boost life to 75 and life drops to 25. Then discard, discard. Well, if I accidentally press C again, that's what I discard. Careful, your supplies are running low. Now, oh, your weapon ability cannot be activated in combat. Thank you! Discard, discard. The next time you gain max life. Okay, and I can't accidentally use my weapon. Once I was the greatest of the mages. Few there were in those days. I sought only to serve, food. and thus I came to the throne of life and death. Ha! Great. General store. And I get the food. Pew, 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 pew. Let's sell this. First kill. Oh yeah, the first kill gives me plus five life. It just heals. It's kind of useless, but this is the one that's good. And also the defense is ten. It's just, it's just needed. All right, Imperial Armor would have been the one I wanted from the beginning, but they don't get lucky. They don't need this. We don't need this. Actually. Plus 10 life, I mean, that's not bad. 23. And this is back. Okay, so. 10 life for. Full on 20 defense. Almost got the token. Wow, if I had the token, I would sell this. But... Uh... Oh, it changed. Then less defense. Plus ten life. Plus ten life is not worth. I'm gonna get the token. If anything, I'll at least get that. Also, this encounter only has gold token. Although I'm just... Jesus Christ, it's such bullshit. yourself over neglected hedges to find the dilapidated manor house. <laughs> it returns again! Covered in vines. A red glow emanates from the cellar windows. Seal the portal. Front door gives without much resistance. Nature has reclaimed what was once a luxurious residence. Floors buckled by tree roots. All is covered in green moss. The floorboards creak ominously beneath your feet. Ten steps from the cellar door. You pray the floor doesn't give out. But it does not. Oh, wow, okay. Unexpected. You walk cautiously to the cellar door and proceed down the stairs. Hellish vortex fills the space below the manor. You feel the heat of the mage's disc through your satchel. Monsters claw their way out of the seeding portal. Monsters. Are you ready, my hammer? Portal heaves, bathing you in arcane energy. In the turmoil of the disc clatters to the ground. The portal draws it in and consumes it. The blinding explosion, it disappears into oblivion. It just ate my pent pentacle. Ah. What a hungry portal that was. 
now it's gone. The game lags. Okay. Man, this is taking longer than I expected. Almost an hour and 40 minutes. Although I did leave for like 10 minutes. Or something. Oh no! Yeah. I must kill! I was mashing F and it fu- Are you kidding me? Suck my dick. I'm going over there. I'm raping you. Pissed me off so much. Oh my god, what is happening here? And I'm totally out of the rhythm. Where the hell did that zombie come from? Where is this guy? That goddamn piece of shit thingy. Oh. I did that like 19 damage because they all had the brute force. Because they, you know, I didn't hit anyone, so they all had it. Damn piece of shit. I hate to skip so much. I hate my life. The big ass. Enemies deal more damage while you are affected by snare. Great. Great. If I was weak, it was the weakness of pride. Oh. Time has shown that to be well founded, however. You walk along the seashore on a dark, stormy night. A lone gull squawks overhead and then dies. Drowned out by the crashing of the waves and rumble of the sky, a coven of mages chant something low and ominous. Dark clouds gather overhead as a mage raises scepter to the heavens. With a crash, lightning strikes the scepter. The mage falls down dead. Well, good job. <laughs> this is how they. Uh, this is how the research for uh, lightning rods uh, was conducted. So how can we direct lightning away from our children on the fields and our cows and stuff? I don't know. Let's raise things to the heavens. <laughs> Just get zapped. Ah! The chanting increases in fervor as another mage steps up to have to have to the scepter skyward. As you approach, the mage is moved to make pace. Really? Eh? To make space for you. Okay. Ah, the mage holding the scepter greets you. Another believer seeking the scepter's high. Lie. What? Whatever he was going to say next is cut short by lightning and his subsequent <laughs> death. Ah, oh, welcome. Do you see the lights? <laughs> ah, these guys are party. The scepter. Oh, am I going to get struck by lightning every step? Scepter's curse. Lose four fame before every encounter. I don't care about that. It's fine. Place the scepter to the sky. Run for it. Another mage takes the scepter, but instead of raising it to the sky. Presses its cold metal into your hands. The coven watches you expectantly. I am part of you! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Squeeze your eyes shut and raise the scepter over your head. Lightning strikes the scepter and the white light fills your vision. Energy covers courses up your arm. The very insides feel like they are aflame. Ah. Ah. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh no, I, oh, I did that for 8 fame! And basically dying. <laughs> then it's over. The light fades and you find the remaining mages scattered across the beach. You think them dead until one, half submerged on the shoreline, raises an arm weakly. 
The mage wheezes some final words. Do not, he coughs his final breath approaches. Do not throw the scepter into the portal, whatever you do. Discard the shoreline. I'm gonna find some big ass crabs and they will beat my face. Or not. Climb the lighthouse and take your in your surroundings. Okay. Oh my god, thank you. Alright, we're going this way. I cannot afford to go the other way, even though... Like, I don't want this. I don't want this. Like, this might be nothing, but this might... This will definitely be bad. 16 life. I mean, I could camp. Uh, I do have... I don't know if I have money for the prayer. But I might get money here. And the alchemist could save our life. I might have to go this way. Oh look, there's a soothsayer, a soothsayer after this, the portal. What a useless thing. I have to go this way. I have to count on the alchemist. It's also a wheel gambit times three, so, you know, the helmet can benefit from that. Alright, we gotta camp. It's blinking at me. I have 23 food actually. Okay, we're gonna camp forever. I could sell something. I could sell it before I get to the uh, healing or the thingy. Because I do want the blessing. Whatever it is, I want it. Alright, we could. Oh, yeah, I, I don't have any money. Right. Let me Lose one gold each time you use a companion ability in combat. Okay, we are not doing that then. We just. Uh, da, da, da. Lose equipment whenever you gain a curse. Wow, that's another bad one. But it's purely bad. It's only bad because. I gain a curse before every encounter, so I'm going to lose an equipment. I might turn back. Wait, it activates immediately? And I didn't change my inventory. This is like an ambush thing. I don't even know what happened here. Oh well. Hulking ogre, great. I'm just gonna let them two duke it out. How did the ogre fit in that thing? No, I have a rusty sword. And that's it. <laughs> so I saw the shield, or I lost the shield because the portal is going to dispense corrupted, and I need to farm the hammer. Never cheat an ogre on a straight deal, Daros the one armed. The ogre's stick height reduces damage by 4, making low weapon. <laughs> oh, that's yours! Oh, wait, that was my gold, but I'm not going to the. Uh, I'm turning back. Like, I'm not going to the uh, thing. He kicks me again, I might die. Oh, yeah, because he deals more damage. Because he's the only enemy, so even though I hit him and took away his still I get hit buffs, it was like damage and speed, he still has the damage. Because he's the only enemy. I can't lose more gold. Oh wait, how do I have health now? Wait, I have less health. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, because my health got boosted by the blessing. <laughs> Oh my god, she deals no damage. Kill her! Let's go get her! Give her! 
Yeah, give her. Get away. You gotta be tactical about this. You want, you want some, boy? Yeah, yeah. There's no gold I can lose. Get her. Go. Oh my god, that could have been my death. <laughs> Some kind of pixel perfect or like millisecond timing. Get her. Get her, go. I'm pushing you back in. You're the only one that can kill this thing. Imagine it's your dad. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this is falling apart. <laughs> but it's okay, I can get a lot of food. Lose a goal. As the Imperial Armor, and there's the fame I get back. Wow, just in time. One handed weapon, but I'm gonna. Ah! Man, I might have to forsake farming the, uh, the hammer. Sidekick. Famed ally. While your companion is disabled, you cannot gain fame. That's fine. I like how it wasn't really the same thing. Wait, can I not inspect them? You know what? Dark Thirst can go away because this gives more HP if I have one handed weapon, so. I have to get rid of Dark Thirst. 10 defense. I need that. So. Rip. Perfect. Breathe. You have done well. Perfect. Going deep. And now we get the food, right? That will set you Hopefully. in good stead from here. Big food. Free food. So I can camp up. That's nothing. That's it. Okay, so two blues, or one white and then one blue is basically all you need here if you just want food. Because that only gave... It gave less than the others. Oh, man. General store, but I don't have anything. And I'm going to lose an item. I'm going to lose an item. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna... Can't lose any of these. Wait, I'm gonna lose both of them. Because this is also an encounter. And I lose an item at the beginning of an encounter? Whenever you gain a curse, and I gain a curse every time I step on an encounter. Pentacles curse. This is the worst thing ever. This is this is in the first game as well. And the game only throws this kind of curse at you at the like the final campaign, where before you confront the the, the dealer. I think that's when this curse comes out. I don't think it does the same thing. 
But it's some kind of similar bull. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, before every encounter, so yeah. So I'm gonna step on the general store and sell one of the equipments and lose the other one, I guess. Which one is worth more? I can't even see, but this is 10 defense, 8 fame. This is 10 defense, 6 fame, so this is probably worth less than the Imperial armor. Alright, we can camp up after this. Basic effort. Heavy weapons they last. That's okay, I I lost it. So we, we lose this helmet. Sell this. I lose my health, but I would lose it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna buy food. And just Try to become as beefy as we can. Alright. What would have been things? Alright, nothing new to check. Thank you. I'm dying. Did I get the food when I revealed the entire map? Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I'm ready, actually. Like six or one. What a robbery! I'm ready to duke it out with whatever comes through this thing. Alone, your companion is gone. During gambits, that's fine. And I now need her in we the come battle. close to the rough beast, slouching towards its birth. What the hell? The Antichrist! A red glow betrays the location of the final portal, dilapidated barn! <laughs> I love this. On a long abandoned farm, close it. Portal churns as the other is dead, but expels no corrupted minions. I'm guessing it's gonna be a big mage or something. The Aegis Scepter trembles in anticipation until it flies from your hand and hurtles into the portal. Oh, you know what? I think all these things that are going into the portal are going to be the equipment of the boss that's gonna come out. It's gonna have a big murder dagger, the lightning scepter, it's gonna have a, a pentacle for an eye, and whatever the fourth one was. A goblet for a leg, I don't know. Maybe it has more arms and it like splashes corrupted blood from its goblet, like Path of Exile style, you know. It great turbulence portal disappears, discharging all its power. Never mind, it's gone. Tremors rock the barn, forcing you outside for safety. A distant summit erupts with energy, bathing the sky in red light. You doubt it's a coincidence. I have all the HP I can get. Like, I mean, sure, there's more HP there, but I mean, honestly... I, I don't think I would have survived another two <laughs> curses or something. How many curses do I have? 16 curses, jeez. Most of them are useless. I mean, they are not an issue, but you know. Like, a couple of them synergize very well against me. Alright, what happens now? The summoning, great, a bunch of mage ghosts. And some kind of growth. And the moon is... Confused. Moon is confused. Oh, wait, I have to go there? That's another encounter. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So that's another pain card. God damn it. Yeah. At least I didn't starve. Lone wolf, companion is gone. Well, yep, that's, that's the one I didn't want. Oh, whatever, dude. Here our paths cross for the first time. Did you know then that we would reach this moment now? Wait, we are already sitting in the same booth. It's floating trees in the outside on the outside. Is this the summoning of him? Oh my god. Well, I die, I lose it. 
and I have to redo it. Oh my god. We follow the ominous beam of light up the foothills to the summit overlooking the countryside. Yet another portal stands surrounded by mages, necromancers and witches. This one is much, much larger than the others. That's a portal. Flames dance at the edge of the maelstrom. Schools of Shade or S of School Hade. I hate how this is like how these things are written. It's, it's annoying. So Shade of Skulls, that's gonna be the big thing. And we have two arcane mages and a big mage. Oh my god, this is I am uh, no armor, nothing. <laughs> Levitating mages begin to cast an incantation. The cacophony of the portal clashes with the roaring storm winds until all you can hear is a deep and powerful heartbeat. Dunk dunk. It's my heartbeat. It's big. As they chant something unintelligible, a decrepit arm extends from the fiery maelstrom. A robed figure, its face obscured by a ragged hood, steps from the flaming portals to stand before the assembled mages. It rasps with a voice long and unused. I return to reclaim my place at the table. A new era awaits. It's him! Oh my god, what the hell? The mages and necromancers fall to their hands and knees in reverence. Investigate the beam of light. Do I get the token regardless? They fall into pious silence as he speaks again. For returning my objects of power, I called it, you will be rewarded. He leans heavily upon his staff and waves an arm. Golden trinkets appear and clatter to the ground before him. The figure nods at his subjects and disappears in a burst of flame. Okay, and so hopefully he gets removed. Eventually the mages realize they are not alone. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It wasn't him. God damn it. Well, time for suffering, I guess. Hey, that's not even mu not, that's not much. Where's the big guy? Archmage. A quest for power and knowledge will cost the sea of blood if it must. Mage should project us from distance. Oh no, it's like the boss thing. Wait, what the hell is that? What the hell is happening to me? God damn you! right there oh my god what the hell kind of MLG thing was that don't suck me oh it's sucking me stop sucking me what the hell Standing on their own thing. Ah. 
I step into it. And I step into it again. Okay, I still have 64 HP, so we're actually. I was very panicked. Oh, oh, oh. I was mashing spacebar, but the animation was good. That's okay. When they are alone, they are basically useless. God damn, don't touch it. Oh my god, this was not fun. <laughs> the fight of the ages. It's still not as frustrating as that goddamn uh, spire that just cocked me twice. I don't take kindly to being cocked. Get out. Silent stand. <clears throat> Alright, that thing that just eats your life, the Lich King or whatever it was. The Shade of Skulls? Yeah. Glad it was alone. I mean, as in no more than one of it. Who or what have you unleashed here today? It's him. It's Jordan or whatever his name is. Thank God for the uh, extra HP. <laughs> Would have been dead. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Because I had like 150, 145 HP. So yeah. Would have been dead. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I did it. Let's never do this again. Although, this might be where you want to farm the mages. Because there were like three mages at the end. So, if you can get to the end of this encounter with your mage sword thing. Or is it a sword? Some kind of mage weapon. Like mage killing. Oh, yeah, the dual wieldy things. The sword is for the shadows. You know, you can just do it three at a time. Although it's probably better to farm that in endless mode. Jesus Christ. We are bound now. The final moments approach, and with each moment accelerate. This was good. I liked it. I didn't like the goddamn corridor with the uh, giant stone thing. That was annoying, but otherwise, yeah. It was good. The Black Cauldron, but it's not red this time, it's not Brimstone. Vine of the Gods, another one of these goddamn mini-adventures, probably. Oh no, wait, that might be an item. Oh no, it's not, because it had the same background, so... Yeah, it's another mini-adventure. And the Ordeal by Iron. <laughs> what is this? Hmm. Items, Arcane Edge. Meteor Strike. The Weave of the Protector. Okay, some grade A awesome items, probably. It better be cool, otherwise this was not worth it. Oh my god, this was... Fun. Like, this did feel like an endgame one. So yeah, that was good. And it didn't unlock the sun, I need more. I might need to do all of them, but what is the world then? What the hell? Anyways... <laughs> that was exhausting. Let's do the devil. Up in the north. So we don't have a companion for this. We have a lot of supplies, but not much else. Four lives hanging in the balance as a mystery stranger for help for a price. Chance cards and empire.
Any artifact that doesn't have a token and is and it's not this, I'm not even going to care. I love the Frontier Bar boot. Six supplies. Actually, get these out of here. So basic defense, 14, 16. Basic weapons, these are useless. I guess we can get the gold. Alright, let's see what this holds. And Those also uncover new cards, more because they need to do that too. Story. They have their own goals. Oh man, their own stars are... Yet their stories oh. have ended. Or they would be oh, here by your side, would they not? So this might be easy to finish, but hard to get the uh, thingy. You arrive, ominous news, you arrive at a tavern one evening, anxious to settle beside a roaring fire with your companions. As you enter, however, you are surprised to find the familiar faces. No familiar faces, oh. We have a lot of armor now. Hmm. After a meal and several hours of waiting alone, a priest rushes in. Your friend Ariadne lies stricken at our temple. Oh, all my companions are like dying. Four lives hang in the balance. It's my companion. Okay. So I have to make a deal with the devil. Maybe. Can I just let them die? What What will happen? Do I lose the cards? You arrive at the temple to find Ariadne lying in a simple bed, attended by, to by a church official. He explains that she has been stricken with dark magic. Ah, they're slowly draining her life. <laughs> Why her? Somehow this malady resists our attempts at curing, the official says. Sadly. It's as if their, her very soul were poisoned. I'm sorry, her time is limited. But how limited? The official leaves, shaking his head. It's not my place to say, the young cleric whispers, but perhaps there are other places you may seek help. In my work helping northerner refugees, I have heard tales of their high priestesses. It says, a mystic of swords who moves freely between the realm of men and the world beyond. If anyone could help your friend, it would be her. But that's the wrong quest. You know that the northern priestesses will not see you unless you possess, it says, says, Enough blessings, yep. You have few options. With the young cleric's help, you ready Ariadne for transport and leave the temple. Wow, so I need to get a lot of blessings in two cards? Okay. Let's go, boogie. Everywhere we turn, they are burning witches. Were I you, I'd stand clear. I need the token. Until we end this. The Empire will continue with its purges. A midwife confined to a pillory cries out to you, proclaiming her innocence. I'm not a witch, she cries. She accu she's accused of practicing necromancy after she brought the stillborn back to life and is due to stand trial in front of the Inquisition. I was only looking out for the child and now they will have me hold scorching iron to see if I burn. Of course I will burn, she exclaims, yeah. I mean, maybe it wasn't necromancy, maybe it was just, you know, CPR on the baby. You can actually... I mean, was it an, a stillborn? Oh, it's a stillborn. Eh, maybe you don't want to do CPR, because it will just go... Th it, <laughs> it will just get smooshed. It's, it's very weak. <laughs> can you do CPR on a newborn? Because I think you can do it on babies, but... Not like fresh out of the oven kind of babies. Promise to do whatever it takes to free her. Why? Don't make promises in my name. Well, on the day of the trial, you sneak into the executioner's chamber and throw your sword at the as the burly man adjusts his executioner's mask. And you stab him. Stab him in the back. Woo! I live dangerously. A single blow... He... he 
comes to his senses and flees. You claim his attire, leaving him tied in a closet. The dealer draws executioner axe. Ooh. A right. bloody reminder of justice in these lands. Take a knee. Causes knockdown to a random enemy when activated. Enemies in knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. Renowned finisher. After combat, receive plus three fame if you completed three finishers. Wow. I put it on because I probably need it. Fame. As you perform the ordeal, you ensure the iron scarcely touches the flames. The midwife winces as you drop the warm bar into her hands, but soon realizes the ruse is for her benefit. You advise her to leave town before the real execution is discovered. Nicely I'm guessing done. the token is the axe. Given times are so dark, you are lucky to have allies willing to assist. As the price man, you're willing you're walking past a black, plain looking carriage when the door suddenly opens and a huge pair of hands lift you inside. The carriage leaps forward as the door's shut, and you find yourself sprawled on a seat opposite a huge, powerfully built but unusually ugly man. It's an ogre. Lord Apollyon requests your presence, the half ogre declares. Oh. The creature is silent the rest of the journey until you arrive at an immense, impressive manor house. You exit the carriage and are brought into a large hall for audience with Lord Apollyon. Apollyon? Napoleon. Huh. What a joke. Ah, the great adventurer herself. Apollyon begins smiling broadly and stepping forward to greet you. He bows slightly. Greet him graciously. I've heard of your exploits. I too am but a servant of the Empire and its people. Then I hate you. I'd like to offer my services if you ever have need of them. I don't presume to wield a sword or dodge a claw troll, as well as you of course, but I do try to support good people, supplies and such, especially heroic figures such as yourself. So I'm guessing I need fame and then I can exchange fame to supplies. Bullion invites you to stay and entertain him with stories of your adventures so far. He seems captivated by every word and several hours pass quickly. You lead an incredible life. I hope you return again soon with more enchanted tales. Napoleon takes an item from many adorning of the wall, adorning the walls, saying, "Please accept this paltry gift. Perhaps it will help you re rescue your friend. A hundred food. <coughs> Some weapons, this one included, require a great hero to carry them. Allow my coachman to take you back, and please come visit again any time." Lord Napoleon. <laughs> He's sus. Also, I can go back there anytime I just want to give him tales. Tales! So, is this the Empire murder weapon? Yeah. You post finisher and finisher against Empire in case weapon just by 4 and it doesn't knock that. Defeat Empire with a finisher to unlock the shot. Jesus. Well, that's not gonna be used. Thanks, Apollyon. I can't determine whether you're the sort of person to put their faith in goblins, or merely the sort to give their actions no thought. Uh, I mean, when I put this card in the deck, I was just clicking. <laughs> the tower is in chaos. Alarm bells have the, gar uh, have the garrison soldiers in a panic. As you watch, a goblin with a hefty sack leaps from a window, dangling from a makeshift rope. Do I help the goblin? Do I kill the goblin? <laughs> goblin, mischief. He bounces painfully off the wall as he lowers himself to the ground. The castle doors fly open. Guards assemble, armed and angered. Dun dun dun. The goblin blows his torn, discharging little more than a feeble hiss. I need a moment to recharge this. Help me and I'll split my takings. Before you can reply, he throws you an item from his sack. Here's your retainer, he says. Guards rush forward. Arrest them! They are with the goblin! No weapons are recommended against the Empire. You can change equipment in the inventory. Blah, 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 blah. But do I want to? I mean, I do have the Executioner's Axe. But it doesn't have a token on it. I don't really care. To be honest. I would have used this, but... Mm, nah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna full armor. Just go at them. It's fine. Take out the, the gun boys and then kill the rest. Easy. 
easy game. Oh look, there's a goblin. Oh, I have to protect the goblin. What the hell? These guys are just immediately here. No oh, goblin, don't die. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, and it attacks the wrong person. Hey, they, can, can you actually lock on to anything in this game? Is there a lock on? Control a vibration. Well, I don't need that. <laughs> Attack bash, ability, blah blah blah, evade, finish, run up, down, camera. Nope. Ain't no lock on, bruh. So even if you sometimes face somebody, you know, you'll just attack someone else. So why not? easy. All the musketeers want me, looks like. What's an escape? He escaped! Oh, okay. Maybe I could have killed these guys before he escapes. Or escaped. Maybe then he rewards more stuff, but... Well, 10 gold, and I probably don't get the token because I was slow. Barely lost any life though. Thank god for the armor. Yeah. So you have to kill them before he escapes. God damn this piece of shit. Let's go tell about this tale. Hey. You have to wonder why anyone would help you. At least my <laughs> motives are clear. Turn to the fine mansion, Lord Apollyon. And they're granted immediate audience. How goes your quest to save Eridne? Do you have the blessings required? Like the blessings required. I could be of some assistance. I must confess that I have a weakness for games of chance. Oh my god. But it leads you to a table in another room. Oh my god. If you win, I'll tell you provide the blessing. I will provide the blessings required. Yes, I have the means. You'd be surprised what magical trinkets end up in my possession as part of my work. If I win, then, you must pose with me for my next portrait. It will be titled Champions of the Empire. Perhaps I shall have a statue of us made as well. I'll even stack the deck in your favor. After all, I enjoy the excitement of the game and care little for actually winning. That's a little sus, how easy that was. Although I'd still need three more blessings. Well done, I think you've played this game before. Gestures to a darkly robed man, who you failed to notice standing in a shadowed corner. He is the devil! Ah, I knew he was sus! Napoleon is the devil. The dark robed man is just his... lackey. Man comes to stand before you, a deep voice slowly intoning words in a foreign tongue. Associate is a follower of an ancient religion that you may not be familiar with, but rest assured that this devotion is second to none. As you sit through the lengthy ritual, you feel yourself drifting in and out of consciousness, whether from the drowning voice or the potent incense being burned, you cannot say. <laughs> You're getting high, bruh. Whoa. Optionally try any chance card gambit. Oh my god, is this scripted or did I just get extremely lucky? Because this is amazing. Awesome blessing, bruh. Oh, oh, he, he gives four? Steel opener. The first hit in combat against Empire does 50 bonus damage. That's kind of useless. Permanent blessing. Divine intervention. After all your rerolls in a dice game, it reroll your lowest, lowest die. Permanent. Oh my god. This is too good to be true. Divine providence. Adds plus two to each of your dice. Jism. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh God. What's the drawback? When is it going to break my neck? You suddenly awake, Apollyon, watching you with mild amusement from across the table. I expect you will want to begin your journey to the High Priestess immediately. Sincerely hope your friend makes a full recovery. 
Oh, bye bye. Devils wait in the darkness. Fire. But which devil will you focus on? My own devil. Great traveler, it's Diablo. As he passed near a darkened alleyway one evening, a blackened and misshapen hand grasps you, pulling you close to the darkness. It's probably gonna want the blessings back, and if I refuse, I get some curses. But I mean, otherwise, how do I continue the journey? You stand at the precipice of ruin. The Dark Lord has taken an interest in your destiny, and even now is engineering your downfall. The hunched creature pulls you with surprising strength further into the shadows. Jesus. But I can help. There is magic that I can help you beat him at this own game. We can craft it, you and I. Doing so may test your spirit. But that's better than eternal darkness, eh? <laughs> he looks up at you, his yellow eyes glowing faintly. Do not fall into despair. We will meet again soon. And he just... Zoom. <laughs> he just flies out. All right, okay. Gross. Probably had corona or something, jeez. Well, what's in the camp before we go? Campfire. Oh. Stop it to rest at an inn. It'll chill your heart as you sit by the inn's hearth, trying to keep warm. Oh, I'm alone. I'm alone. Arcane Edge. All right, we can see what this does. It's a heavy weapon. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown on a single target. So basically, weapon ability and then finisher. It's kind of unwieldy because it's that opens us for attacks. Charged buff causes 130% damage while the weapon charge is full. Okay, so if I don't use its charge, it just deals extra 30% damage. That's pretty good. After six hits, we can just keep hitting. Yeah. 17 fame, Jesus. 22 damage is not bad. Pretty decent. It's a decent weapon. And I can just sell all of these. Money. Well, I'm immediately going to sell the Executioner's Axe. I don't need it. Come receive plus three fame if you complete three finishers. Oh, it's 27 hits. It's kind of... Yeah. I don't want any evidence on my person, you know? I don't want them to just find me and be like, hey! That's our Executioner's Axe. You are the one. I'll keep this for now. If I have a chance to use it. Yeah. Let me try and farm. Any food? Oh my god, let's buy this. Wait, who was the... Oh, the inn innkeeper, right? Trade with a drunken inn patron. Oh my god. Hey, do you want this big-ass executioner's axe? Uh, I'll take some of your food. Interesting. You I must persist. ponder the ties that begin to bind. The trap is slowly laid for you. Yeah, no kidding. Too good to be true. Cross the northern border and prepare yourself for the long journey up Mount Freydis. Again. You're surprised, sir, to find a band of northern warriors waiting for you. The High Priestess is expecting you. The leader of the band declares. Oh. With their guidance and protection, you quickly find yourself once more in the ritual house of E. You gain for fame. I know why you have come, the giantess begins, moving to inspect Ariadne. She quickly sneers, saying, It is no wonder your holy people cannot heal her. This is no minor curse or spell from a magician. A beast of the underworld has tainted your friend's spirit. Without my help, she will die. E pauses to consider you, her gaze boring you. Oh, boring in their soul, sorry. Oops. I think your fate will be to one day destroy the one who brings ruin to my people. Until then, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, yes? No, the enemy of your enemy is your enemy's enemy. Nothing more, nothing less. The Queen of Frost sends you to another room as she prepares a ritual. 
Many hours later, you are summoned again. You find the queen standing over Ariadne, who, apart from being famished, appears fully recovered. And now the other three companions are going to be... murderized. Leave when you are ready. E declares, turning to leave. But heed my warning, hero, a shadow hangs over your soul. Stray but a little and you will fail to the ruin of us all. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> Malaclips told me he was going to the village of Rumstock to investigate the rumor of a magical artifact, Ariadne exclaims as you leave the ritual house. I was to meet him there some days ago. I cannot understand how you come to be here now, given the challenges that have stood before you. Man, what? As you journey towards Rumstock, you are just quieted by an increasing number of rumors concerning the village. It seems that every traveler coming from that direction has heard of terrible ritualistic murders being performed in the woods nearby. The rumors also suggest the major responsible has been captured. It's Moloclips and his wrongfully uh, uh, thingy. Disguised himself as a bard. Yep, called it. One fellow declares, I saw him with my own eyes and he has the look of a killer. Don't worry, continues the man. There there will be justice served for these poor souls when the necromancer burns at the stake. Alright. Well, we can just move on it, I guess. But do we want to move on it? Well, it wants me to move on it, but I don't want to move on it. But I fear if I don't move on it, he just gets burned, so let's move on it. <clears throat> so the noose begins to tighten, and we question the very stakes. Stakes? <laughs> Funny man. Look, there's a stake right there. Arrive on the outskirts of the village of Shramstock, where Malakrips is being held captive. Approach. Oh. Never mind. Screw that. Screw that noise. Friends in high places will take you far these days. Oh, an equipment card with faction trait. That's how. So it won't give me a weapon that's good against the faction. Like, it won't give me, like, a dagger here, a hammer here. I don't know. But that's why the goblins were grayed out before. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I could have bought it, though. I could have had... Da -da -da -da. All right. Now I know. I failed. Come back again sometime, but I can't. Oh god damn it, get out of my face. You are camped on the side of the road on a moonless night, when a familiar pair of yellow eyes suddenly appears beyond the light of the campfire. You have glimpsed your doom, I take it. I forgot his voice. The curse is in the cards, you know. <laughs> he just needed to clear his throat. He limps from the shadows to sit next to you, although somehow the fire fails to illuminate his form at all. The spell that will be your salvation requires several unique ingredients, cloaked figure explains. The first... Wow, what the... It really just didn't fit. Oh, that's that's annoying. The first task will be to harvest the horn of a diabolic creature. I know of one that will be easier to go overcome, he says, producing a silver whistle from his cloak. Strike quickly, though, he pauses to add, or it may escape, and you will spend countless lifetimes regretting it. The whistle releases a sharp note, and a fiery portal appears between the two of you. A short horned creature steps out at the portal, closes again. Hey, a fellow fearless, you called. The devil asks. There's the devil. It's a short, horned creature. There you go. There's the devil. Looking up at him. So his name is Thalphilus. He's a Thalphile. Oh, God. <laughs> the child's... Oh, no. The child-sized creature seems oblivious to your presence for the moment. That's the creature for its horn. I feel like they are baiting me with this. Night bite. Strike it. Mighty blow to the head. You knock the devil unconscious. Soon you have removed one of the beast's horns and handed it to Telfilus. This is in a sack made from the same dark material as his cloak. That, that will do for the first element. I must immediately prepare it. Telfilus says, turning to leave. He regards the limp from. He regards the limp form of the hellspawn. Do not be here when it wakes up, mortal. 
It will be angry and you have not the means to kill it. Oh shit. Uh, do I want to go this way and then come backwards and maybe get murdered? Sure. Hey, Marksman Vane. I could. Two more projectiles need to be reflected. Need a shield that can reflect. Hold on. Hold the phone. Buckler can. Buckler can. Can, can. Yeah. Game just took a nap there for a second. Can I equip it though? Okay, I can. Does it not need a fame? Three. Okay, let's go. Time to sell the assassin blades. This will be good enough. Doesn't have a price. Wait, what? How much? How much am I selling this for? It's a mystery. Twenty-two. Okay. Good. Fine sword. I'll keep in case I lose this, because I don't want to use the rusty sword. This is a little better. Although it's against northerners. So. But I mean, four gold. I don't need that. Now. Or do I? It's fine. I don't want to be here. Say that another of your friends is in peril? How fascinating. You relate some detail to Marcus' situation. We live in dangerous times indeed, Napoleon says. Shaking his head. You have plans to save Malaclips? Explain that you have not yet visited the village. I expect you want to travel there immediately in order to see your friend. Would you like to transport there? No. As you wish. Boop. 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 A wooden stake with brushwood piled around its stands in the village center. A few peasants stand around, talking eagerly about the impending doom of the so-called necromancer. They track down the town mayor, who, despite your pleas, refuses to consider sparing the mage's life. The creature is bound head to toe in blessed iron, and he will stay that way until burning under a full moon. Good, decent folk from this town have been murdered, and I will see to it that they receive justice. Plead Malakles' innocence. And who are you that we shouldn't listen? The mayor exclaims, it will take more than the word of a nameless mercenary. Really? So first we need... Oh my god, really? 40 fame. How do you get 40 fame in this? Maybe the petting of the deer. Although no, the petting of the deer switches your fame with either food or money. So even that wouldn't be good. What the hell? How do you... What the hell? Well, I guess we're turning to the devil again. Hey, devil. Uh, I cannot come with the villagers. Those dreadful peasants in their provinces can be a savage folk, Napoleon declares, but I have a solution. If you will but play the cards once more, if you win, then I will use my considerable influence to spread word of your great deeds in service to the people. The birds will sing your praises across the empire. Oh no, it's through selfish showing. The rebel love nothing more than a hero, a real defender of the people, Napoleon exclaims. Dryly. If it helps, I'll even have my personal herald accompany you. Your needs are more particular in this case. So I must insist that you up your ante. If I win, you must stay and entertain my guests with tales of your adventures. What do you say? Does the prospect of another winning hand entice you? God damn, my throat. I'm in pain. Oh, Jesus. I'm in pain. Well, I have to accept because there's nothing else to do. Alright, Ariadne. 
clone that baby. Yeet. Sukasessa. Another win! Napoleon exclaims, you are adept in both combat and the finer arts. I shall make plans with my associates tonight to support your cause. By the time you reach Rumstock, your name will be Legend. Oh! I am a legend. <laughs> Look, someone calls out. The hero of the Empire is in our village. Woo. You're here for the demon, of course. The mayor says as he approaches. You must have heard that we've captured it ourselves. The peasants all cheer. Don't worry, the mayor continues. We intend to burn it during the full moon. No, you will not. Oh, wait, what? Snow cells. Okay, so he's suffering. That's fine. Some effort you managed to convince the mayor to release him into your custody for proper disposal. And I toss him into a wood chipper. I'm sure you know best when it comes to creatures of the underworld, the mayor says. Of course, I'm making deals with it. Oh my god, I got a lot of fame for that. How do you have the fire planned? And everybody's coming. Perhaps you could stay just until the full moon? Yeah. Is. Mayor look at the entry of the just changed and stands well back as you leave. Thanks! Malakliff well, says the country folk weren't kidding around. Goes on to relate how he was set up on as he entered the village, being accused for some local murders involving magic. It sure seemed that they knew I was coming. Where did it... It's it's Apollyon. He set everything up. This whole thing is his thing. He's just having some fun. He's just joking around. He's bored. You feel Malakliff's in on what happened to Ariadne. What about Estrella and Colbjorn? He asks as you begin your journey back towards the capital. So what if I had the DSC? What if I had the DSC character? Would there be five people here? Or would it just be, you know, exempt from this mission? Probably exempt. So many enemies await you. Ransom. And so many would stop Money. you moving forward. It's probably gonna be like a hundred gold pieces. The next day you stop the rest of the small inn. There are a few other patrons as you consume a sparse meal before retiring to your room. Once later you hear a noise at the window. It suddenly opens, allowing a hooded stranger to slip inside. Relax your sword arm, mercenaries, the woman exclaims, warning you away with an open hand. I seek only to deliver a message that your colleague, Colbjorn, has been acquired by the guild. You see, she continues leaning against the window sill. With recent setbacks to our income potential, we've had to expand our enterprise with kidnapping and so on. And a rival tribe has an impressive bounty on your friend's head. It's all just business. For only 150 gold, you can buy your li friend's life back. Well, I mean, <laughs> bring the gold to the East Market Square. Someone will contact you. Otherwise, well... I can't say I have been treated by those barbarians. The cloaked woman says as she ducks back out of the window, vanishing into the darkness once more. I don't have a friend called Colbjorn. Let's move on to the last one. <laughs> oh no. Uh, he's dead. What if I camp and sell everything and then switch my fame with the deer? Oh, but I don't have the deer. Oh no. I'm sure there are legit ways of locking out and being able to get the things. Because, like, switching the fame and the money would help us. Like, if you have the, co the gold weapon and the gold shield, you can sell them. You can easily get the, the gold. But I didn't set up my deck at all, so... Yeah, you see, I put stuff like this in here. They say the road to Goblin Town is paved with gold! And dead mice. Gold, you say? Maybe this will work out. Horus, son of the village idiot, has lured you to this forest cave with the promise of a hidden treasure. You get everything. Just through here. There. He points into the dark cavern. I saw a goblin hurrying into that hole not a moment ago. Goblin town is in there. I'm sure of it. Uh -huh. Oh, time to die. Mm. If I lose my gold... Oh no, it's this thing again. Oh, 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 gold, gold, gold. 
three gold chests. Ground. It's not timed, thankfully. Oh. What? I can turn the entire thing? Oh my god. How do I turn it back? Okay. <laughs> one gold, two gold, four gold chests. There's one right there. It's hiding. Oh my god. Where do we go then? Is this camera view? Or is this crest following when you tell him that Goblin Town wasn't down there? Goblin Town is from the first game, I think. You find you didn't find the Goblin either, or probably used their violin magics. I tell you what, if you manage to get your hands on a Goblin, they might lead you there. Hey! Like how they clipped through each other for a minute. Alright, Goblin Town, give us 20 gold. I'm gonna die from food. foodlessness. You sit resting next to a river one afternoon when Theophilius' dark form rises slowly from the water and limps towards you. What the hell? He was just in there. He appears to be completely dry and he stops before you. Mortals often contemplate their, their own doom existence in the light of the setting sun, but yours is more doomed than most. We should make some progress on your spell. Why? Ha! Ah, the stranger speaks. I have offered to help you with no mention of reward for myself. Of course you are suspicious of my intent. I don't know who the devil is. The guy who just comes out of the river and also is dry. Or the guy who is like, let's play a game. If you win, you get all you need to progress and save your friend. If you lose, you're gonna have to like, have a painting with me? What? Oh, everybody's sus here. Maybe it's the same person. Oh, it might be the same person, actually. He stares into the distance for a moment before saying, I have my own reasons for seeing a poor, helpless soul escape the clutches of the Lord of Evil. The next step is normally as difficult to achieve as obtaining, obtaining a devil horn, but luck is with us again. The agent of our downfall has provided us with exactly what we need. He gestures and your skin begins. Oh, my fame! <coughs> oh my god! Gestures and your skin begins to glow. As my Ebola flares up. Mm. To possess so many blessings is rare for a moment. No! I don't want to leave my person. I can give you like, these two. This one is the. Uh, Reroll your lowest die. I might not want that in certain situations. This one I don't care about. I want to keep this no matter what. I want this. And this one... This one is good as well. So, Divine Intervention. And uh, can opener. I'm perfectly fine departing with Doostream. 
I shall add their power to the mix. Oh, he wants all of it. Telfinus opens a small vial toward you, and with a sickening tug, you feel some part of you torn away. I feel like Apollyon will want all the things back at the end of it. He will want all the fame, all the gold, all the blessings back, but I won't be able to give him, because this guy is just sucking it all away. Look at this. Okay, I can choose this one. I don't need this one. Choose another one. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, good. Good! This will do- this will do nicely. Alphilis says with satisfaction as he seals the urn. Never lose hope, mortal. Okay, so he's not mortal. I mean, that's kind of obvious. He calls us and he returns to the river. The dark one may still lose his prize yet. Meh. Yeah. Oh. oh, good. Hello, things back. Uh, Imperial armor, shuffle less. Bye. I mean, I don't have enough money for the thing, so we will have to go to the guy anyways. Might as well be prepared. I'm gonna keep this, because I don't trust anybody now. Life is hard and difficult. We'll buy some food. to the fine mention of Lord Napoleon, they are granted an immediate audience. You say that you have heard the sparing and how fascinating great to some cobra situation. William and Dangerous stands indeed. Napoleon is shaking his head. I see you still bear the marks of battle yourself. Napoleon remarks, sending his butler for a healing potion. Thanks, I guess. I didn't want that. I got your quest to save Colbjorn. I don't have ransom. Wait, I could just move on. Oh, but in the previous one they just sent me back. Because I didn't have the fame, so this would probably send me back again, so... I don't have the gold! <laughs> I'd like to help if I may, Apollyon says earnestly. Would you mind terribly indulging me in another little game? If you win, then I will give you the request required gold to pay the ransom for your friend. Only to repay it, no strings attached. If I win, then shall we say that you owe me a day's service. Um... I have business interests in the northern hills that require some important deliveries. As you know, the land is still rife with northern warriors, despite the Empire's claims. How about it, adventurer? Coburn's like would save it. Excellent. Okay, it's not with you today, it seems. Let's play again. If I win this run, you must act as my personal bodyguard at the next Winter Solstice Festival. Oh, but it's extremely easy now, because... I mean, I do have the, uh, the armor. But it's like... So, I will... Ah, perhaps you were toying with me for the first time. I am creeped out. Immensely. So, do I have to go to the northern lands, or... Uh, uh, help, I need an adult. The gesture from Apollyon, a small humanoid creature brings over a chest of gold. Uh, and let's spend it all at the... Uh, what if I spend it all at the camp? I hope with that gold you get your friend back in one piece. Do visit again sometime, let me know how it went. <laughs> I could buy food. I think I fail if I do this, so let's... I don't want to do that. Like, the game allows you to fail in another adventure, so I don't see the... <clears throat> the reason why it shouldn't allow you to fail intentionally here as well. But I won't do that, because we've come too far and I am scared. Let's go. Also, Your allies, of course, help in times of trouble, but when the tables are turned... Ah. Ah. Find yourself in the eastern district of the capital, approaching the markets. The Thieves Guild would undoubtedly find you there and demand the ransom gold. I can avoid it, just not go, I guess. 
Enter into a wide courtyard filled with stalls and milling citizens. Within moments you are roughly drawn into a shady corner, acted from praying eyes by a variety of hanging carpets. Hello again, the cloak twin begins brightly, her two beefy eyes, or oh, beefy companions. <laughs> Why did I think... Okay, silently taking position on either side of you. How did we go? Are we saving any lives today? And there were a sack of coins, probably seized by one of the lounge men, and they start counting loudly. One, two... Hope that wasn't too much trouble to get your hands on, the woman comments. The coins are counted. Eventually the man nods the woman and the two men leave, taking the cold. Not feelings, eh? Just business, the woman smiles, drawing her up off her cloak. Suddenly she dashes away, vanishing behind the pile of rolled up carpets. She's just covering behind the carpets. Afraid that you might be just being hoodwinked, you wander back through the crowds to see Cobion being thrown from a moving wagon. You pay them, he says, standing and brushing himself off. I owe you my life. Creates a tale of capture and confinement by the guild. Estrella wasn't with me when I was taken. I don't know what fate has befallen her. Oh, what? what oh, Jesus. One has to wonder why a sudden wave of carelessness has overtaken your allies. High treason. Harold enters the marketplace and announces that Captain Estrella Fiore, a traitor of the, em to the Empire, has been captured. She has been sentenced to death by the Emperor himself. The Herald continues. Let her fate be an example to all who will consider defying his will. It won't work, interrupts the commoner. The more executions he hands out, the more the free people will rebel. The Emperor is cracking down on the lawlessness running rampant in the city. The Herald responds, and you sound like a rebel yourself. Discreet inquiries leads you to learn that Estrella is being held in a remote Empire stronghold. But nobody claims knowledge of where it is. It's right there and it's remote. I need gold again. Are you kidding me? Imperial justice. How will we ever rescue Estrella if we cannot even find her? I see. There is the easy way out. Oh, we did. Oh my God. Oh, that. Oh, that sucks. Let's go this way. Getting oneself lost is often the beginning of wisdom. We Where's cannot that? stay within the bounds of safety and hope to learn there. Grimalkin, after hours of wandering the forest, you finally admit to yourself that you are, in fact, lost. As you rest on a comfortable log, an enormous black cat saunters, what the hell is that, by and plops herself in front of you. She licks her paw for a moment and stops and stares at you with golden eyes, pet. Oh, Jesus. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Right. Oh, wondrous wanderer lost in my neck of my neck of the woods, shippers. I will show you the way. You chase her up a hill, and from this vantage point, you see the path ahead. Ba -da 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 -dum. Oh my God! Mystical island. Gambling Hansel. The dude. And yeah. Hey, we got the token. Nice. Never putting that in again. I mean, it's a map reveal, I guess, but... Not that important. <clears throat> I'm a Do you know, in all my years, I have never set to sea. The land seems safer, if you ask me. But this is also land, but on water. It's, it's like land. But... Moving. Oh, token. Mystical Island. After several hours of competitive drinking, an old cartographer has become your new best friend. Come sail with me, he slurs. I know secrets. I just need a deck hand or three. Or many of you are there anyway. When you sober up, you decide to investigate this tale of a mysterious island that rises from depths of the sea every seven years. Oh, but sadly, this is the fourth one, so we move on. You'll need a ship. Oh, money. Here's some gold, see what you can find. It seems you've been recruited by an aspiring captain with no crew. 20 gold to pro procure a ship. What? Wow, great. Approach a group of seafarers, unloading their ship. The captain's face is, cr is creased with weathered f and weathered from too many years spent staring into the ocean. I have a treasure map. Offered the gold. Yeah. 
Promise them to set sail immediately as long uh, after a long wage you spy land on the horizon. Oh Jesus Mary Joseph, what the hell is this? Ah I hit my head. No. No, it took them away. A little warning, a storm rolls in engulfing the island. Your shipmates seek shelter below deck. As you rush to the sa to do the same, a for forceful gust slams your head. Oh, I did hit my head against the swinging beam. Wow. I am a goddamn oracle or something. I swear. Ah. Well, I am. Gasping with each step, hoping to survive. Find food if you can. Oh, it moved me, and that counted as a move, like a legit Dude, that's unfair. They come to... This thing is gone. How do I go back? Find yourself abandoned on the coast of the mainland. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just back. Everything is a wager. Well, but I guess our it difference activates. is that we understand the game must have rules and definitions mm -hmm. if it is to bind. Bind? We are in a bind. You enter a tavern one evening just as a gang of soldiers rise angrily from a table, leaving just a well-dressed civilian seated. Seated? You cheating son of a harpy! One of them yells quietly. Gentlemen, please, I cannot help if Lady Luck is taken to me, to me this fine evening. Oh, what is that, Lucky? A soldier exclaims, drawing his sword. The other soldiers advance around the table. Gambling Hansel. The unarmed man suddenly leaps from his chair and ducks behind you, saying, Mercenary, I implore you. I am a humble and honest merchant in need of aid. You lie. No. Save me from this band of treacherous fiends whom I have offended merely by playing fairly a number of games of chance. I'll pay you with gold. I mean, I am a mercenary. Blip. We warned you, stranger. And so runs and hides. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, it's fine. It's just one guy. I mean, come on, it's one dude. We're just gonna stun lock him and he's dead. Stun lock. Stun. I like the way that song looks. That was your last thing. This is like a holiday! Absolutely destroyed. Oh, she's not done yet. Just smash it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Having dealt with the threat of the vengeful soldier, one, you turn to find Lucky Hansel st lying still behind the bench. Northern warrior crouched over him. Uh, he's dead. A man who cheats has no honor. The northerner says matter-of-factly, sheeting his knife and hefting the merchant's money bags. He will not cheat me again. Oh. Well, I guess I don't get the token. Because he's dead. Over there moves to exit the tavern, gold in hand. That's my gold! Hiya! Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! I choked! I got... I got antsy. Brief struggle to the north and six your fingers is... Oh. Pay captain arrives a dozen men. From some brief gesturing, soon leaves to pursue the northerner. He slip out the back. Ah, oh, Hansel died. All right, do we touch this guy or this guy first? Hmm. This is the final choice. I, I feel like this is just like a no take backs. If I fail this, I can always go to him, right? <laughs> uh, I'm dying. <laughs> One day you come across a man wrapped in a torn grey cloak, sitting on a rock by the path through the sparse wood. Greetings, mortal! Ophelius utters as you stop. The next element of your magical salvation is approaching! He begins without bothering to stand. You will meet a traveler on the outskirts of the forest. Trade with him to obtain the feather of the blip there. I don't have money. Do not reveal what use you would have for it. I wish you luck. Yeah. Not long later, you meet a dwarf bristling with bags, sex, and other knickknacks. Sex? S A C K S. Like bags. Jesus. That's trade, he suggests. I'm sure we can come to a manual, mutually beneficial transaction. Trade for an angel feather. A 
As it happens, I do have an angel feather that I traded from a cobalt mystic in the western provinces. Very coinkidink. Do we need for it anything? In, do we need it for anything in particular? Uh, no. That said something random. The dwarf asks shrewdly. You begin the negotiation. Oh no 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 Yes 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 You managed to convince the door that the feather is probably a fake worth little more than a few beads and the torn half of a map to find in your pack. Wow I got that map from the kitty the dwarf is barely out of sight when Theopelius is suddenly beside you, saying, That dwarf has never had such a val <coughs> valuable prize in his possession, and birds never will again. But now it is time for the spell to be completed. Theopelius takes the feather and adds it to the spell concoction. The vial gives a silent, bright flash, then returns to normal. And what is normal? At last, Theophilius cries in excitement, After all these years, I will be free. Oh no, he was the bad one. You launch forward, reaching for the vial, but Theophilus is already opening it. No. Ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, boom. At least I don't break Nicely my neck. Falling. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Theophilus cries as he wrestles the wire from his grasp. Please, mortal, you don't understand. This is my only chance for freedom. Explain yourself. <laughs> drink it. I don't really want to drink it immediately. Expl I want information. Communication is key. If I just drink it, I might die. If I just give it to him, he might be like, ha ah, lol, and he kills me. We need info. I was like you once, full of purpose and an inflated sense of destiny, Theophilus, but says bitterly, I dare to ask my soul on a card game. It's take. Okay, so the devil is the dude, and he was just, uh, <clears throat> this is what we will become. Oh, no. I have been enslaved since before the Empire formed, before even the Dragon Slayers waged their war. I have seen and done things that would drive you to madness. I took it up the butt! Meh. Without that while I shall suffer countless lifetimes more! Fine by me, buddy. I did your shit. Vile is mine. Hey! Hope. Eternal hope. Hope. A huge success card is added to every chance card gambit. What secrets could, could this reveal? Oh no, I think I needed this. I'm sorry, Telfius. Well, such is life. Oh, Jesus. I don't feel good about this. No! Telfius exclaims, You have condemned me to eternal torment? No! Oh no, it's the sucker. Oh no. But it's alone, so it's easy. I'm just gonna beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it. You're on a bridge. Um, I'm Desperate for salvation, your ally has turned against you. I mean... Wait, can drain life with an unavoidable spell. Attack them. Stop the effect. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. Stop it! I will. Destroy you! I almost said the R, R word again. R8. R. Monkey. No. Oh. Makes a nice noise when my sword charges. Wraith alone. Useless. Oh, he's falling from the bridge. No, he exploded. And we are happy now. We, we gave him peace. Death is no release for me. Theophilius whispers as he fades away. And soon it won't be for you either. Well, time for big hope. Can I camp and. Oh, wait, I don't have food. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you, video game. Ah, oh, nice. That was very, very nice of the game. Wait, we can camp once in this step. Although we might have to go there. So let's let's not go to the inn. Stepage. Again, I just heal five. Didn't I heal ten every time? Am I confused? Am I getting old? I think I'm getting old. We return to the fine mansion of Lord Apollyon and are granted immediate audience. Say that another of your friends is in peril? Oh wow, what a coinkidink. It relates some detail to the Australia situation. We're in dangerous times indeed, Apollyon said shaking his head. I see you still bear the marks of battle yourself. Yeah, me Yeah. How goes your request to save Estrella? Change the topic of conversation. What? Ooh, tempting. So tempting. Oh, of course. Shall we discuss your past exploits once more? Tell me more about the ogre you encountered. Do -do 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 -do. I must attend to some pressing business now, but please visit me anytime. Do -do 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 -do. God damn it. Hello! This is no trivial thing you wish to gamble for this day, Apollyon says, looking concerned. Even I cannot sway the Emperor's decision on your friend, and helping you intervene would be t -t 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 to treason. <clears throat> Whereas if you win, then I could give you the means to rescue your friend. But if I were to make such a gamble, then you must risk something equally significant. I'll give you an eye. Napoleon leans forward, fixing you with his gaze. If I win, you must serve me until I release you. Or until I die, of course. Oh, I can just kill him, huh? Napoleon smiles softly at the suggestion. Well, champion, Napoleon asks, clearly eager to begin the game. Are you willing to gamble one life for another? I mean, I have to. Napoleon smiles wickedly and deals the cards. I need it. Hey, she's back, just in time. I needed the goddamn hope. Here we go! Blech. Oh, no, redraw, I almost pressed the wrong... Oh my god, it was right there. Pow. No! And we lose. That's it. What? What? Now you are mine. <laughs> As soon as you rise and feel unless you're compelled to do so, follow me, hero, and we shall see what mischief we can put your tents to now. Well, I, I hopefully still get the silver token. Your old life and the fate of the Empire is left behind forever. Possible seems out of your grasp, at least for now. Goodbye. <laughs>